a few members of the community mentioned to me Big Digital, this company, and look into it in order to see if it's a proxy, what type of company it is, is it undervalued, and to see if we can get value of the, out of this stock as we have done for Neptune Digital Assets and Soul Strategies. So let's have a look. This is the website of Big Digital. The ticker is BIGG in the TSX Venture. This is a secondary stock market in Canada, little smaller than the TSX, which is the biggest one in Canada. This company also trades under OTC for the US investors, and the ticker is BBKCF. If you go under the investor section, press release, we're going to look for the unaudited Q2 results on July 9th, 2024, that summarize quite a bit what the company has. So this company wants to invest in different sections of the crypto world. It owns three companies, Netcoins, Blockchain Intelligence Group, and Terra Zero. So in Q2 2024, they have revenue of 2.1 million, an increase of 100% compared to Q2 2023. One of the divisions, Netcoins Crypto Trading Platform, attained a volume of 158 million in crypto trading. So very small, quite small trading platform. But that was compared to 56.5 million in Q2 of 2024. Netcoin total cash and digital assets ends up at 15.3 million as of June 30th, 2024. And Netcoins has assets under management of 148 set. 147 million as of June 30th, 2024. So the trading platform is growing. So they have more users, the trading volume increase, the trading revenue increase, but the company, Big Digital, does not divulge their crypto assets. So this company wants to make sure that the future of crypto is safe, compliant, regulated, big company invests in products and companies to support this vision. It has three portfolios, like I mentioned, Netcoins, Blockchain Intelligence Group, and Terra Zero. So Blockchain Inter Intelligence Group is an industry leading digital assets forensic, anti-money laundering detection, and cryptocurrency investigation company. Netcoins, like I indicated, is a small trading platform, and Terra Zero Technologies is a vertically integrated metaverse development group. So this is pretty much a crypto venture company investing in all different things, but it's not doing like Neptune Digital Assets and Soul Strategies acquiring directly crypto, crypto coins. Although they seem to have assets because if you go into the investor section under investor deck, this is a presentation shared to uh, the different investors or future investors in the company. Again, I repeat, the ticker is BIGG.V in the TX, TSX Venture stock market. And under OTC, the BBKCF ticker for the US investors. If you look here, this is Big Digital, had Netcoins, Blockchain Intelligence Group, and Terra Zero, the three sections. It says in 2023, they had 2.8 million in revenue. In 2024, it increased to 6.1 million. They also possess cash and crypto. It says in June 30th, 12.3 million. And in June 30th, 2024, 20.4 million. And the assets under custody that's linked to the net coins, 62 million in June 30th, 2023, and 114 million in June 30th, 2024. It would have been useful to see what type of crypto they're accumulating or they have in their portfolio in order to evaluate this company. Unfortunately, I did not find it. Therefore, for me, it's a venture crypto company. I would put way more attention to Neptune Digital Assets and Soul Strategies before going into big digital assets because of its opaque description of the company, 
Plus, they're not focused on one specific thing. They're, they're focused on three different things. Therefore, each of them could have its different burn rate, meaning that they could need to invest and diverge money into the three entities. It seems to be going well because revenues are increasing, but then it becomes a more traditional evaluation of the company and it's way more difficult to establish if this company is undervalued or, or overvalued based on its assets. So for now, unless somebody tells me the details of their crypto positions and if they have been building that crypto position over time, I would hold on the investment. But now let's have a look at the chart. This is the uh, big digital assets chart. It has just been added to the TSX venture. So this is the one hour chart. This stock started trading according to this on September 17, 2024. We got an initial pump in price up to 16 cents and a half. And now we correct it and we are at 13 cents and a half. Quite speculative, very early on. Have to have, I guess, a little more data into the analysis to evaluate this asset. But like I indicated, it does not look like they have the same strategy as Neptune Digital Assets and sold strategies of acquiring directly crypto coins and stating what they do with them, either cold storage or staking, if it's not Bitcoin. So they have digital assets, which just don't have the details of that. And they also have different portfolios where they invest in, in the crypto world. So this is very early on asset. I think it's just a start. We need to track the chart, I guess, and see how it's going to behave. On the four hour chart, we pretty much see the same thing. Initial pump and then a correction. We are at uh, a very low price. The lowest price it has been since initiating trading. So like I indicated, extremely risky at this stage. But it could also be extremely lucrative, depending on you, how you see things. Based on the fact that many companies are now listing what types of coin, the amount of coins that they have in custody, will big digital assets in future presses release detail the crypto that they have in their portfolio? That could help evaluate the company and see if it's an undervalued company or not. However, this company has different investments that are more traditional, like a real company. Soul Strategies has the Bitcoin Solana strategy. Neptune Digital Assets has Bitcoin Solana and all the, uh, a few different assets that they're looking into, more diversified type of uh, portfolio. And Big Digital, we don't know. It could be uh, similar to those companies that I just mentioned, but for now, it's more a traditional type of company. Let's see how the stock price behaves. But at this stage, is at an all-time low. And on the daily chart, we barely see something. The same thing, spike up, and then lowest price that we have seen since initiation of trading. So I hope you have a little idea of what Big Digital Assets is. If somebody finds the details of their crypto possessions, that could be helpful in evaluate the company a little more. But at this stage, I would hold on on investments due to the fact that I don't know personally what the assets are, what the value is associated with them. And once I have that information, then it can, could be a lot easier to evaluate if this company is undervalued or overvalued at this stage.